Hey guys, let's see, bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Huzzy Count, where we just got Diamond. We're doing a roll challenge. We've won all games today. We've played for one four, and the last roll we have to win is support. Um, duo Q here. No duo Qs on my team. Yumi with a terrible Zeri by the look of it. A just stomped Cold Street Kaisa mid. Like, why are you playing Kaisa mid? And then the annoying thing is we we needed to for a good comp an AP mid laner and our comp would actually be really scary. They they went Aurelia, but by the look of it, they're a one trick. Yeah, they're they're a they're a one trick Aurelia pretty much. They play occasional Gragas games, but they've got a forty percent win rate on um on Gragas, so they might not want to do or play it. But hopefully Aurelia will snowball off a Kaisa. That's the one good thing. Hey, do you guys see in, in Europe, the Euro Millions, it got reset, so somebody won the jackpot. 180 million pounds, so like 200, 200 million dollars. And again, here in Euro and everything, uh, the tax for it is paid when you buy the ticket. So I know in America, there was a guy that won like 1.2 billion and he had to give like 600 million to the IRS. You don't give anything to your government, you pay the tax paying into it. Obviously, if you just have hundreds of millions sitting in a bank account, you'll have to pay tax on what it earns in interest. But, uh, yeah. Wait, really? It was a few people that won. They won 200k each and it was split. Out of 180 million, how many people were in that pot? Thousands? Wait, really? It was in your hometown? Wait, what? How would that work? The whole town must have entered if they only win 200k each. It was 180 million. That makes no sense. Someone, like, basic math. So five people would have had to be to make a million. And then 180 million. So five people to get to one million. And then you need 180, so it'll be five times. Oh, I can't be bothered to do the math. I traveled through another village kind of like this. It's a lot, it's, it's like thousands of people. Why fight a Garen in the early game when he's got Ignite? So wait, it was in Portugal who won, apparently. Vaniara is saying it was your hometown. 900 people. Never known of 900 people entering the lottery together. But fair enough. That's funny. That that town's net worth has gone up. Oh, it was in Porto. Oh, right. A lot of the restaurants in Porto are going to do well with 900 people getting 200 grand each. Everyone's out to celebrate. Don't. I forgot to tell you guys, right? We went out to my Father's Day meal a few weeks ago. And eating out in restaurants is expensive. You know, it, like, it is crazy sometimes how expensive eating out has become. And, you know, life in general is expensive. And Queen Pleb wasn't even there. So it was just my core family of four. And the bill was £150. Behind us, there was a table set up for, I want to say, about... 20 people and we did and they were all drinking wine they all had starters they all had mains and they all had desserts their bill must have been like two grand imagine that you dropped two grand on a restaurant bill it was a nice it was a nice place like it's a, it's a it's a fancy place we went but like crazy and it was also very stereotypical of the area. So literally, my dad made us all like look and we all chuckled. Because again, I don't think of myself as posh. I know some people like to put that tag on me, but I don't think of myself as. I know I live in a nice area. But literally, we looked over. My dad said, everyone look. And there was a Cambridge University polo team jersey and an Oxford Oxford. Uh, university polo team jersey and they were having lunch together i was like yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> that made me laugh that was quite funny
my working class. Uh, I wouldn't class myself as working class, but both my parents were. My mum's dad was an electrician in factories. Uh, my dad's side is a little bit, I could say, higher in a, in a way, but not by a lot. My granddad on my dad's side was an engineer. Um, and he, he got to eventually like manage factories as an engineer and stuff, so he got pretty senior. It's why they moved to South Africa, because he was um, a manager and stuff of factories in Wales. And then basically back in the 60s, was it 60s? Yeah, 60s. Um, they were basically offering skilled workers to go to Africa to like kind of help develop it a bit. So that's what basically happened. He got scouted to go over to Africa and then he, you know, just straight away was managing his whole factory in, in Africa. Too big of a wave, my friend. Isn't this too big of a wave? Oh, well, we'll see. I don't want to lose minions. Oh my god, it, the wave was literally nearly per nearly perfect. Close. Why is it this Udir keeps trying to invade by the look of it? Constantly. Hey, Miss Myers. How are you doing? You okay? Hey, oh, puppy dog. Good girl. These are good puppies. She hasn't been eating her food, have you, Miss Maya, the last couple of days? We've had, we've genuinely, and I know it's bad, we've been having to give her some treats. Um, because she is just not eating from her bowl with this heat. She's just not interested to eat from her bowl when it's this hot. It's typically, and Maya's typically terrible from eating in her bowl anyway. But if something, something is obscure, like she's not feeling too well, or it's too hot, or it's too cold, the first thing that will go every time is you will just not eat. Which is pretty normal for visitors. They're kind of known for that quite a lot. But still. Nice. Good job. Good confidence by the Nocturne. He's decided to lie down at my feet. Oh, you farted. You smelly dog. Why did she come in the office and fart? Could have done it outside, then come in and say hello. Oh. oh, also, just to make it clear, Puzz, I thought you were going to play a carry support. Why are you playing Milio? Because Cogmore, like, insta locked, like, first pick Cogmore. I'm, I, you know, when you've got a Cogmore, you want to do protect the Cogmore. Son of Liberty 76, 20 months of Prime. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Obviously, I've been very productive in last stream and this stream, so by the way. By this, by this video being uploaded, the definitely the subathon potentially has happened. It's technically an uncapped subathon, which means, you know, the main days are Saturday, Sunday, but we could continue if the timer, you know, goes quick. Well, um, but yeah, I'd imagine the timer's probably run out by now. Is Yumi already abandoning the AD carry? Wait, is you living? Wow, nice. I go. Uh, I was gonna say, do I go over for void grubs? 
I don't think they can dive the cog more. He's got barrier. I'm gonna be the youngest kid to ever Murder the stupid the Kaiser mid. Yes, yes. Yeah, to be fair, Relly has got such high tempo and kill pressure. Maybe it is fine. Okay, Nocturne, I've come over here to commit the grubs and you're not doing them. Hello? Please? Please, sir. Bolton? Bolt. Nice. I think I can go back now. Like, they just don't have dive pressure. It would have been good, by the way, if uh, Nocturne did it straight away, because it means I would have been able to get back to my cog more quicker, but it's still fine. Twitch chat is currently having a conversation of what working class is. So I don't know if it differs depending what country you're in, but working class in the UK... I don't actually know what the, the official definition is, but it's more the skilled like laborer jobs basically if you're working class you're you're the actual backbone of the country you're the underappreciated overly skilled uh for what you do and underpaid for what you do unfortunately but you are in essence what runs the country and actually makes the country work that's the working class every country would fall apart if they didn't exist and unfortunately, they're usually the most, Shut like, down. not very w well liked. Not liked, but like, they're the most, uh, abused form of people by a government, usually. So they get screwed the most. Hey, Vixie. Why is Garen mid? Working class is living. Working class is living paycheck to paycheck. It can be. The thing is, like, they're not punishing a cogmore at all. They're just letting a cogmore get to late game for free, which is a bit weird. Really let a Cogmore get to late game for free. <laughs> Tice is genuinely rage quit mid. Lol. I just don't get why someone would play Kaiser mid. Maybe they're in. Are they an AD carry main? Oh, they play mid. The squash then. The funny thing would be if, like, Aurelia kills the uh, Garen. Oh, we're being dove. Uh, we needed some help. So they're gonna try and kill the Garen because obviously they're doing a lane swap to try and like not be as bad and boom they died. So that makes the lane swap actually worthless, which is good. But then we get dove bot lane. Couldn't really make the Cogmore survive anymore. If I I risked being next to him. I think we both would have just died. Well, that's the thing. Like, I, it's weird if the definitions like working class. Someone in Twitch that was like, you know, plumbers, electricians. I don't even know if they would be like in definition of they work, etc. Technically, yeah. But dude, the average like plumber and stuff can earn like a hundred grand. She's dead again. I do quite like seeing uh, the uh, Kaiser getting destroyed. Oh. 
Zeri does very little damage. Yeah, I'd, I'd vaguely agree that the car system is pretty much outdated. Because, like, you can get rich in a lot of jobs nowadays, but you also can be pretty, like, not have a lot of money in jobs that used to be considered a lot as well. It's weird. The world's in a weird place. <laughs> <laughs> Zero eight. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I think it is part of that. that. I think basically, like, 40 years ago, less people wanted to be a plumber or electrician. So then ones that were doing it could up the prices and they could become pretty rich doing it because there weren't as many of them. And then everybody wanted to be a stockbroker or something like that. And there's now millions of them. So each of them can't make as much as they used to. I think it has definitely got something to do with that a little bit. It'll probably go through another change eventually. Yeah, we need a rallyer coming over to these fights for sure. Shaken. You're right, Miss Myers. The annoying thing is I won't have my items complete for this fight, but I think it's more important that I'm full health. Prescription. You're a good girl. What the heck? Remove a stone. Did you say something for me, I missed. Who's trying to surrender? What the heck? What in the holy tilt? Why is Nocturne not with us? Is the Nocturne that's tilted? Is he focusing Emilio? That Garen tried to focus Emilio. You troll him. Zeri was completely at the wrong side of the fight. This is a weird game. Why would Garen literally go crazy like I'm going for a Milio support? No, no. Weird thing, right? Is like she's just doing a standard AD carry build. Like I would have thought, all right, you're playing mid lane, you're gonna do a AP build. It might go into AP eventually, but like that's just standard. That's the point. It might be a player that is, you know, when Kaiser was crazy OP in mid lane. It might just be a player that's never wanted to let go. That's the thing. So they they do exist. Imagine if you went from platinum to diamond one playing Kaiser mid. You're like, oh, it's finally my thing, and then Wright's like, oh, this is unhealthy for the game. I'm gonna get. We're gonna get rid of Kaiser mid. You're then ruined as a player, so you just keep playing it. Do you so used to watching you on YouTube? You just try to pause you when my the kids started crying. Pause. So hard on this Did they stop crying. I'm wet. Um. I'm just going. I watched a really funny short actually of um, day two, uh, Duta. 
How the hell would the pronounce you? How do you pronounce his name? What the Akshan man? I've watched the funny short of Akshan man and um, the walrus Gragas guy. I think he's a Gragas guy. And it was like first to uh, move loses. It was very funny. Look at my the cog's DPS. Yes, yes. It's getting there. Da -da 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 -da. I honestly don't know why Zeri stayed. What, bro? You're not gonna kill him when I'm next to him. That Garen. Oh, the simplicity of Garen. <laughs> We could actually do Baron right now. I'm not even kidding. The Cogmore doesn't base. My thermal pizza isn't as heavy as it looks. I built it myself. <laughs> What's the strategy here? I don't think they have one. Ooh. Kill the stupid cat. Yeah. Honestly, the enemy team has just completely misplayed this game. Like, they just let us lane bot lane for free without any repercussions. What, you're just letting a Cogmore get late game? What? That's silly. Even when I'm alone, I'm not lonely. Again, he doesn't have flap, so he has to run into us if he to go for any type of steal. Hey, real runnies! Ooh. Wow, what? Why would you do that? I'm a support bro. Oh, yes. That is not worth trading your life as the AD carry. Um, real runnies, though, 46 months. Thank you so much, real runnies. Nearing four years. Hell yeah. I think the enemy team might just be mental boom. I don't know. Where's my mind? God, he's gone again. This dog, she's the stealthiest dog in the world. I was holding my foot up, holding it against like a wall bit because I was like, oh, she's underneath me. She's gone. I didn't have to be holding my foot at a really awkward angle. Zero nine Kaiser. Oh, 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 very satisfying. Infernal Dragon Soul. Wonderful. They're just going tilt, tilt, split, push, probably now. So I think the Yumi's given up on their AD carry. Which is obviously quite silly because of the best friend mechanic. Hey, Libby Bot, 54 months with Prime. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you very much for the long-term support that you've got. <laughs> oh! That Scarlet roll was nice. Oh my god, Kaiser got one kill. She's still useless. Oh, there you go. We have done the role challenge. We have played five games and we have won all five in each different role that exists. Hey, today's gone well. Five games, five wins. Shame this wasn't on Mundo. Ooh, hello. That will be the brand from last game.
Has to be. I haven't really reported many people today. That has to be the brand from last game. He genuinely was just trolling, to be fair. Um, I'll give it to the Aurelia. She did her job. We all didn't really want an Aurelia. We wanted something AP, but they made it work. So that's the thing. If you play Aurelia and Snowball like mad, fair enough. Plus 25, which is good, considering we're in Diamond now on this account and we're still getting plus 25. Uh, so we went 0, 1, 10. 3.2k damage. Obviously, I'm not really built to do any damage. But yeah, overall, quite an easy, smooth game. Mid lane, Kaiser got destroyed. Um, the enemy team arguably played it terrible that they just let a Cogmore free scale. So even if Aurelia didn't snowball like mad, we still got free scaling bot lane as a Cogmore Milio. Like, that's really bad for them to let that happen. Um, obviously, I don't think people should really be playing Yumi at the moment. They basically made this champion terrible because they know it's a mistake and they don't want this champion to exist. The reason why this player is playing it, I just looked at their profile, they're a Yumi main, which is... Well, they play Yumi as their main champion and their off champion in support is Twisted Fate support and has a mighty 18% win rate on it. Interesting. Maybe they play Twisted Fate support if, if Yumi's banned, but nobody ever nobody ever bans Yumi anymore. But, oh well. But anyway, that's going to be it. Roll challenge complete. I haven't done one in a while. Felt pretty good. The only game that I was a bit near was the top lane ribbon game. But it happens. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory. Regime. I know how to unleash eternal power. Lead us to.